Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profotech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. Inside this video, we are going to solve a error inside data table and the error is up about that action button click events not working on the paginated rows. What basically this error means? This is a simple error or it's a basic error basically every developer faces. If I back to browser, now here we have a data table. Now inside the data table we have columns like name, position, office, age, start date and this is all about action buttons. If I inspect any of the buttons, so let's say this inspect element. Now inside this button we have an ID. This is ID number 25 and we have some means let's say BTN, BTN danger and this is the custom class actually we had defined. So these are the buttons basically we have defined inside this data table. So if we go to the editor, now this is the code actually we have written something like we have to CSS link. First is about the jQuery dot data table dot CSS and the another CSS actually we don't want. So I'm just removing that. So first was the CSS link if I scroll down. Now this is our tabular header. Now inside these headers now we have some data and each data basically contains a button. As we can see that inside this button we have an attribute called data ID and these are the respective values. Now inside these buttons we have a class called so my count and by the help of this class actually we have bind a click event with this class. So if I go at the footer, so this is the class actually we had defined. Now by the help of that class, as we can see that we have bind a click event. By this click event, what actually we are doing? We are reading the attribute what we have defined inside this data ID. And finally, by getting this data ID attribute value, we are just consoling it. So back to browser, reload this page once. Now go at the first button, so go to console, clear out all these things, so click on this delete button. Now as we can see that this button means if we see at the console, let me make some zoom. Now this button has an ID called 5. If I again inspect this delete element, now this button has an ID called 25. It means that if we click on this delete button, it will print 25 inside this console. So click on that. Now we have a value called 25. Now all these buttons basically works for this first page. If we click on any of the button, as we can see that it is printing the values inside our console tab. So let's say that Let's see about what basically the error actually we are talking about. So if we clear out all these things from the console tab, now go to the second page or any of the paginated rows of this data table. So let's say inside the second paginated row. Now here we have delete buttons. Now if we click on the delete button, these delete buttons have the same attributes what we have seen so far for the first page like data id attribute and the classes. So each of these things actually defined with all these buttons. So go to console. Now if we click on this delete button, as we can see that it is not working. So this is the question for us that why it is not working because we have successfully bind a class and also we have specified about the data ID attribute. So why it is not working? So this is because if we again reload this page, now go to the first page. Now for that to understand about the error concept. So if I again now just go some here and let's say that these are the T body section means each of the row. Now we have these are the row basically from our first page. If I back to our code editor, now inside this code means our written code. Now inside this code actually we have no like classes with these TD means the elements like row or some other classes. Now inside this code, this is the dynamic generated code by our data table. It added automatically about the rule and the classes which each of this TR. So if we open this element, now we have the same values. And also along with this TR element, also it added some extra parameters inside this table tag. 
Now let's see about the magic that is why click event is not working. So this is our second page. Now remember you have to keep watching about the click on this second page and the data inside this t-body. So if we click on this second button. Now as we can see that all the rows dynamically added inside this t-body section. Again for the third row dynamically added rows. So as we can see that all these rows data means second row, third row or any of the paginated rows. If we click on this paginated links, it will automatically actually add the dynamic data inside this t-body section. But remember, if we press Ctrl U to get the source code, all the rows basically as we can see that as static values inside this page. But remember, after binding this ID with the data table, it automatically adds the dynamic values pages wise. Means for the first page, it will automatically add a specified amount of data and for the second rows, third rows and so on. So due to the dynamic addition of these rows, basically click event is not working. So why basically or how we can fix these errors to our paginated rows or paginated links with these action buttons. So to fix this error, we have simple solution. So back to our code editor. Now back to our click event where actually we had defined our function. So at the footer. So if we click on this scroller and go here, now this is all about our click event. Now if I again go to browser, now this is the ID of our table. So by the help of this ID, if I copy this ID, go here and copy this code, pasting it here. Now let's make this comment. So comment it the code. Now here we have ID something called and the ID we have called my table. So copy and paste. Now here I am to specify call the t-body. So inside my table ID means my table data table we have a t-body element as we can see here. Now inside this t-body we have a class that we have specified which each of the buttons something called so my count. So if I copy and go after this click and pasting here this class. Now all we have to this. Now this will actually fix our error. So if we save all these changes, back to browser, reload this page, go to console, clear out all these things first and let's click about the first paginated rows. For the second, if we click, now as we can see that our click events successfully now worked for these paginated rows. So this is the first option or this is the first solution to fix this click events for the paginated rows. What we have the next, if I make comment of this solution, now let's say that dollar by the help of our document object that is document dot list on click and here I am to specify about the class. So copy this, pasting it here let's say function and inside this function I am to write the same code what we have inside this existing solutions. So pasting it here all we have done now. Here actually we referred about the t-body means id of the table and t-body element for this dynamically added rows. Now this time actually we are refer re referring about the DOM object that is document. So if I go to browser reload this page. Now for the first row, if we click on any of the buttons, it is working. For the second, as we can see that it is working. So for the third rows, now it is working successfully. So this was our basic issue basically we found in every application while working with our data table. So these are the simple solutions. If we bind about the not only for the sync click event, this is for all type of event related with our JavaScript or jQuery. Simply we have to reference with the table ID or we need to reference with the document object to basically listen about the click event of our action buttons. So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment 
I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.